know that. So I'm going to ask everybody to say the Lord's Prayer, and which we will start off by saying, you can say it loud, or you can say it inside. We start by saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. while we are here this evening. But as a community, seeing so many individuals here means that this means something to all of us. And our hearts go out to the family, to the friends who are in mourning at this time. We pray that God will comfort you. We pray that God will strengthen you. But as the has said, let there be no retaliation for another. Let's join together in love, in unity. Let unity dwell among us. Because we need to unite together as one. Let us stand. 
thanks God for his direction and his lead. We will pray in a few minutes and we will be praying for the family. Those who have been mourning and for the Indian family who is part of in the midst of this with a person who is dead. We also pray for the community and the rest of the young people. Take courage. God is your refuge and your strength. He's your very present help in time of trouble. He will hide you under his pavilion. God is our keeper and he's our shield on our right hand. So we are going to pray and we'll commit the family to the hands of the Lord. We'll commit the community into the hands of the Lord. Father God, we bless you. We lift up your name in all the earth. We give you thanks this evening, Lord, because you are God and there is none like you. And Father, at this moment, we just want to bring the family of the deceased young man into your hand or young person into your hands. We pray that you will comfort them at this time. Father, there are tears that are flowing here now, but God, tears are a language that only you understand. And so we pray, God, that you will put your loving arms around them, that they will find <coughs> comfort and peace in you because you are the peace giver. And Lord, we pray that you are surrounded with your love, that God, they will feel your presence around them. Father, we pray, God, for the individual family whose loved one has also created the act. We pray, God, that, Lord, they will find it in their heart, Lord, to come forward. And we pray, God, that forgiveness will take place. We pray that healing will take place in this community. Father, we present every individual here in this evening. And we pray, Almighty God, that you will cover every one of them. We pray, God, that there be no retaliation, but that, God, you will draw them closer together. We pray for every young person under the sound of my voice, that, God, you will cover them, that they will know, God, that you love them and care for them. Father, reach out to them now, Lord, and cover every one of them. Lord, we plead the blood of Jesus over here today. We plead the blood of Jesus in Alexandra Park. We plead the blood of Jesus in Mosaida. And God, as your people stand together in a difficult times, but help us to stand in love, help us to stand in unity, and help us to stand in peace. Lord, we give you thanks. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Be strong and of good courage. God is with you. He knows the pain. He knows the sorrow. And even how he knows the anger. But he's in control, nevertheless. He's in control. And you know, community, let's look to God. Because that's where our help comes from. Our help doesn't come from the land. It doesn't come from the drugs. It doesn't come from the God. It comes from God. So look to the Lord. He's your help. He's your help. He's strong enough with courage. He will strengthen you. Thank you. Thank you for allowing me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah? Just to add to that, anybody who wants to talk to anybody, especially at the powerhouse or the hideaway centre, you know we are going through a lot of trauma, but those places there, especially for the young people, it's always been there. I met every year, everybody's been here for one another. I'd like to thank you all for your support. Thank you so much. You know what we're doing. my company.
some people and I cannot believe that they've come from an enemy. I cannot believe that. And I'm really upset that young people would talk to you, would sit and talk to you so many times and none of you listen and I don't care. I'm saying it as it is. We sit down and we talk to so many of you so many times and we tell you, look at the family. Look at what you are doing to your family. When will you listen? We as youth workers so many times sit down and talk, look at my nephew, 17. We lost a young person in North Manchester, 15. When will it end, Bossai community? I'm sick and tired of this. I hope you listen today. How many more are we going to lose for a lot of you to listen and take in what I'm saying to you? Look, we're here now. My nephew, you know, and many of you know the amount of trials and tribulations I had with Prince to try and get him to turn his life around. Many of you don't know, but you can see me as the chemo, this chemo, that, but you don't know what's going on in the background. I love my nephew. My at times I've sat down and cried with Prince. You won't know. But I'm telling you now, we need to come together as a community and we need to look after each other and we need to be there for each other. We cannot allow this to happen again. I'm going to bury my nephew soon. I never thought the day that would happen. To come here, stand in front of all of you speaking like this. Things need to change right now. Right now. We're meant to be a team. I'm talking to all of you. Nowadays, I don't see that no more. We need to look after each other. I really hope from today you listen to everything I'm telling you right now. We need to come together as a community and we need to do better. It's only death that I see so many people. When we call a community meeting, none of you come. I'm telling you the facts right now. Look how many community meetings we've called to try and pull everybody together. Nobody wants to come. But when somebody dies, look how quick everybody comes. So I'm upset with everybody. I don't care. I'm upset with everybody. The amount of times I've called community meetings to call all of you to come. Nobody wanted to come. But we lose people, everybody's there. I'm really upset. As a community man, I tell you, I've worked out there for too long, seen too many deaths. And now my nephew. I'm
Is your stay in the back? Okay. Is it open?